Now I gotta find another big old house on the property. And I can't find the front door because of the vegetation, but I found a giant hole in the wall. So we're going in this way, guys. You can tell that this house is old. Like this thing is. When I say old, I'm talking super, super old. It's not even much of a house. There's a second floor. We will be going up there too. And this ground is soft. I really should bring back up with me in case of fall. It's an old brick in like I'm putting my flashlight on real quick. Because I was dumb and left my flashlight at home. Wow. Look at that. Samsung piece of shit. This is a definitely old farmhouse. Look at that. That's awesome. Maybe if I can find it, I'll pull up the dates of when this house was built and occupied. A lot of houses around here from the 1800s. I live in a historical area. That is a blessing. Look at that. It's like an old headboard. That's an old bed and stuff. The floor, as you can guess, is pretty weak. I'm telling you, this house is like colonial. Old, old bike towers. Bike tires. Bike towers. Some more, some shoes. bird nest look at that old kids vacuum cleaner I just want to get off these steps I don't trust steps I used to build houses look it's actually timber wow the old wraparound porch look at that it was extremely decayed but at the same time I would say it's pretty beautiful right, let's go this way first luckily these old timbers are big look an old like jewelry case knock oh, there's a third floor maybe I don't know it feels too secure about the structural support of this building look at that full of stuff and I'm talking old stuff I cannot believe I forgot my flashlight I keep kicking myself for that it was like on my to-do list don't forget to grab your flashlight even the mattresses are old I guarantee you ain't no one lived here since like the 80s look at that the, the wall is actual logs I can see through the walls to the outside that's a little spooky old baby carriage like a walker or something oh shit and leg brace is that leg brace I don't want you guys constantly looking at my phone <laughs> this place is cool I'm gonna book who wants to find out what book it is The book is the American Bicentennial Series. There's a 55 gallon drum, which I will not be looking inside of. Watch too many forensic files. All right, should we go to the third floor? Should we risk it? There's animal crap, it's probably raccoons. We'll go take a peek and see how it looks. So I'm telling you, when I'm walking, I can, these old fireplaces, you can feel the softness of the floor. 
Got some vinyl. What we got on vinyl? Patty Weaver. No idea who that is. We got a couch that's older than me. Look at the TV. Oh, that's awesome. I'll be putting a bunch of pictures on my Instagram under the same name, Lost Exploration. A bunch of stills. Jesus. You know, short video. Animal crap everywhere. There is piles and piles and piles of raccoon poop. But here is the upstairs, and that's that for that. It is raining. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave this on the videotape my demise in case something happens. <laughs> but that's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Next time, send me a message to remind me to take my flashlight. I hope this video is bright enough because this is just awesome. I might come back here one day with more lighting. I bought a lantern and some other stuff. I'm going to go out the uh, easy way this time, not the way I came in. Here's a plane landing. Got to get back to my truck. Alright people, I'm lost. We're going exploring. Please subscribe. Have a great day.